Hello, folks. So, my name is Gil, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a 50 hour on my 2021 Mahindra 2638 tractor. Uh, I've been running it pretty hard, well, pretty steady, uh, taking care of property and clearing land and uh, moving wood, you name it. And uh, right now I'm at about uh, 45, almost 46 hours of uh, use. Figured I'd go ahead and document it and record it. And if you need any help with it, you can watch this video and reference it. Um, hopefully it'll work out for you. Uh, this is my first time doing uh, this level of maintenance on this tractor. So it's going to be a learning experience for me. And uh, hopefully it'll be a positive and learning experience for you. Um, but anywho, uh, we'll go ahead and get things going and uh, start having some fun doing maintenance uh, on this tractor. So to start off this 50 hour, I pulled the tractor into the garage, popped the hood, took off the side panels. Uh, exposed everything I need to expose I think in some cases some people take their loaders off but I'm gonna just make things a little challenging and just leave it on for now <clears throat> maybe next time I'll take it off but we'll see what happens um, but right off the bat I knew I had a little bit of a situation because the uh, transmission has about eight and a half gallons of fluid in it um, and so I kind of had to figure out how am I going to get this out without making a giant mess. So what I did is I cut up some buckets and I'm going to just rotate them uh, through the bottom of the transmission as it's draining and uh, try to get all the fluid out of there in a neat way. I hope this is, I hope I have enough buckets for this. Uh, if not, I'm just going to plug it and uh, drain these out and pour them in my containers over there and then uh, continue on until all the fluid's out. Uh, so remember, 7 8 um, socket, break this thing loose, holy cow, I'm going to have to extend this out, it's on there pretty tight, uh, guess they don't play, play around when they uh, put plugs on, there we go. Hard to get it at this angle. There we go. And then we'll let the fun begin playing musical buckets. And I'm going to keep this plug nearby just in case I need to plug it if I run into issues with the containing the soil. There it goes. Whew. All right. So I just noticed something on this plug. Let me get around to the other side so I can show you. Oh. <clears throat> get my hands clean. <clears throat> well, folks, um, these, uh, these plugs are usually magnetic, so they're designed to pick up um, bits of metal and stuff, but let me show you what came out of the plug out of this tractor. I don't know if you all can see that. Let's see, can this thing focus? Not really. Great. <clears throat> so, 
just wanted to give you a little bit uh, different angle on this and hopefully this will be able to pick it up a little bit but this is the plug um, um, and what it picked up and yeah man those are like pretty good metal shavings um, so here's the metal shavings Jeez. okay so this is what the plug looks like when it doesn't have all the metal on it um, and this just I wonder you know this is probably just break-in stuff um, got it on break-in um, oh yeah nice metal and if we wanted to we could take this to a lab uh, and uh, find out exactly where the shavings are coming from but that's none of our concern right now all we need to care about is uh, getting the fluid changed and getting these filters in there but uh, be aware that on your first change it is super important to get these done um, changing uh, these filters and doing these services because imagine this getting accumulated so much the magnets not going to pick it up anymore and it just runs through your whole system and totally trashes your tractor so for longevity make sure you keep up with your maintenance So, it appears, after about five or ten minutes, um, we might have drained most of our fluid out of this thing. So what I'm going to do is remove that last bucket, slide this one underneath. Uh, this is just going to catch residual. I'm still going to let it drain while I do other things. <clears throat> but in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and uh, dump that bucket, last bucket, into a canister. I've cleaned up the plug. <clears throat> it's ready for install, but I'm not going to do it just yet. I'm going to uh, uh, probably pull our two filters, inspect them, replace them, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, so uh, uh, I was able to drain the hydraulic fluid, no problem. Um, I got about uh, three of these. Uh, canisters uh, full, dumped them into my five gallon storage drums. I have one completely full right now and one is about three quarters full. Um, the next step in this is to get to that suction filter. Uh, I, I did see um, quite a bit of metal shavings on our magnet, uh, our plug uh, for the hydraulic fluid. So I'm going to go uh, straight into the suction filter, um, which is this thing right here. It is. Uh, Kind of expensive, I guess. It's like a, it was like almost 90 bucks or something. But um, this isn't really talked about too much in the manuals. Um, I know in the operator's manual, it does, I don't think it really mentions it. But in the service manual for this tractor, it does mention it. Clean it or replace it at 50 hours, and I think it's like maybe 250 or 500 hours after that. I think you do this the same time as you do the uh, transmission fluid slash hydraulic fluid, but. Uh, uh, don't quote me on that. I'd have to look it up. Uh, it's on my computer somewhere, but um, yeah, we'll talk about that later. But we're going to go after this guy right now. It looks like there's going to be some stuff in the way. We might have to move some stuff here and there, but we'll figure it out, get it done, and uh, hopefully everything will work right. All right. So, uh, as you can see, I still have that draining. The uh, uh, transmission still draining a little bit. I decided to put this uh, bucket underneath of here just in case I get extra fluid coming out. Now <clears throat> what it looks like to take this off right now is I'm going to remove this clamp right here and I might have to remove this one but right now I'm going to start with this one uh, and this is a 5 16 uh, socket or I think you can use a Phillips um, to loosen that clamp up let me see if I have this set right. There we go. Let me get this out of the way temporarily. There we go, loose enough. Gotta move this out of the way. Uh, it looks like it's kind of stuck on the uh, rubber there. Let me see if I can get this a little bit more. There we go. Sometimes you just gotta break these loose. Uh, looks like, yeah, there it goes. All right, so 
and I believe these bolts are 9 sixteenths. Um, but for now, let me get this out of the way. Put this right here. Good. Pull this away if I can. Uh, let's see. I wonder if I'm going to have to take this one off as well. Uh -huh. It's going to be a little difficult. And the thing here, I don't want to um, rip this tube. I just want it to break free. Uh, I wonder if I am going to have to loosen this and try something else to take it off. Sometimes you just got to twist both ends off. Maybe see if I can do this without making a mess. Oh yeah, that's that's on there. Okay. Oh, I guess I'll just work it back and forth until I can get it off. Let's see, can I get this out of here? If I'm going to have to loosen this, pull it out, twist it to break that loose, and then I can get it out. Let's try that. So, is that the one I want? All right, let's break these loose. I'm starting to wonder if everything is tight on these Mahindras from the factory. You'll find out. Yep, not bad like be an extension for that right back. wrench. Let's do it old school. Feels a little looser than 916s. What's going on here? Okay. These guys loose. I don't like that sitting there, it's just getting in the way. Right. I'm expecting a little bit of fluid to come out here, but I really don't know. I won't know what to see here. Let me get this off. And uh, I think when I put that on, I will be putting Loctite just a little bit. As with all the other bolts that we take off here. That one. There we go. All right. So what I'm going to do, I have a plastic scraper just so I don't ding anything up here when I do this. Just work it out if I can. See how far this thing can go out. I think I can twist this now. Oh yeah, so if I can twist this and break it free from this black hose, I think I'll be in much better shape. Right now it's kind of a pain. There it is. I think they paint these. They do. Okay, easy peasy. See that? 
So I moved this a little bit, more fluid's coming out. Um, so I did something. <sighs> Loosen something up. <clears throat> oh, I hope this isn't going to be a pain, but I got a trick for that. This is hoping it's not going to be a pain getting it back on, but like I say, uh, I do have a trick for that. A little bit of isopropyl alcohol to fix that. Okay, yeah, that's going to break free. See how much fluid comes out. If I can get it out. There we go. Got a little bit. Now the trick is getting this thing out of the way so I can get this out. that drain for a minute. Handle one problem at a time. If I can. I'm sure the other trick to this too would be just to spin this up but then this will fill up and cause me problems. Let me see if I be able to spin this down. Okay, we're good there. That's out of the way. Ah, let me get this thing out. Dropped my uh, <laughs> my elbow down here in this hydraulic fluid. Oh, nice. Well, at least it's kind of clean. Just put that right there. We'll clean it up here later. All right. So now, how bad is this suction filter? Let's see. What's the best way. How does it want to come out? This is what I was kind of curious about. Is how this bad boy is going to come out? I'm gonna to have to take that off. This linkage right here. Might have to drop it out of the way and uh, take it out that way. Well, let's do that. Just a cotter pin. So. That's coming off, guys. You know what that means. All right. Okay, good. So that's already adjusted. Just got to make sure to put it back. Don't spin it, just get it out of the way. The idea is to get this out. Oops, oh, we need to find that cotter pin. So the stack up is cotter pin, washer, pin, like this, oh, come on, man, there we go, alright, so drop this out of the way, make sure it doesn't spin, pull this out, what a fun little filter. Oh, that's 
got to come out now. Huh? Shoot. What's it hanging up on? <sighs> All right, so we got our uh, suction filter out of the tractor. And uh, we do have a significant amount of metal on it. Let me get my magnet. Start picking some of this stuff up. I don't know if you all can see that. That's what I'm getting from the filter. So I would recommend, even though the uh, owner's manual doesn't say to do this, but the operator's man or the, um, the service manual uh, talks about it. I would say on your 50 hour, definitely take this out. Uh, clean it, inspect it. This one's going to end up just getting replaced um, since I just happen to have a new one. Um, look, we got a little bit of gold shavings there. I don't know if that's a good thing. Um, looks like copper, copper gasket of some sort. And this is, I'm um, assuming and hoping that this is just break-in uh, material and not like the engine coming apart early uh, or the transmission. But yeah, that's a, that's a good chunk of uh, stuff right there. And definitely glad I opened this up and got it out. It pays to do a little bit of research sometimes and uh, take care of stuff on your own. Um, main thing I'm looking for now is make sure this is the same size filter. It looks like it. So the dealer did give me the correct part. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this one in. We got uh, this out of the transmission. So I'm happy with that. Um, going to clean some stuff up and uh, put it back in and um, then go hit the other filter. The other filter is pretty much a spin on so it's not going to be, it shouldn't be any issues. should just be a straightforward uh, um, unscrew it, fill it with some hydraulic fluid and put it back in. should be good to go. Um, but like I say, uh, had to undo some stuff, had to uh, take this pin off of the linkage in the back right there to get it out and then that is where the uh, filter sits the suction filter and then of course I'm gonna have to clean up the elbow a um, little bit of uh, isopropyl alcohol to get that uh, goo off of it and the good thing about alcohol is it'll uh, just evaporate and won't cause any harm to anything so um, it'll be, that'll be the next step and uh, we'll move on from there then hopefully get this thing filled up in no time. Uh, also, for the sake of getting everything out that I could possibly can out of this thing, um, I have a little magnet. And what I'm going to do is stick it in the orifice that the filter sits in and see if I can't pick up any loose stuff that I wasn't able, or the filter wasn't able to capture before. Um, and like I say, this is maybe a little overkill, but and there it is. We have a little bit. So I accidentally pushed the button, but this is what I got out of it. Uh, just running the magnet at the bottom of the case. A um, little bit of metal shavings. So it is a good idea before you put that filter in, might want to stick a magnet in there and uh, get some extra shavings. All right, here comes the fun part. So this is going to be installed pretty much the same way it was removed. And that is through the top here. And I'm probably going to have to push up on this a little bit to get it in there. It is kind of a pain to get it in. There we go. We'll seat that evenly. Sometimes the best way to do this is to run the bolts in and uh, evenly uh, tighten them down as best you can. Um, right now, uh, I need a red. Clean these bolts off. And I think we're going to put a little bit of Loctite on these because it appears there was a little bit of Loctite on these bolts when they were removed. So let me grab something real quick. Oh. All right. 
let's see, do I want the orange? Hmm, let's go. Let's go with blue. Do a little bit here. Just a little bit. Nothing too crazy. somewhat evenly. Uh, we will grab our 916s, wherever it went, here it is. Move this out the way. Got that touching. Get our hose on. Don't forget our clamps. And on this one, of course, <clears throat> the fat side was the one on here. So we will go ahead and put this on first and position this to where we can get to it fairly easy. And I think we're going to do it this way, just like this. Just like we took it off. But I'm going to, oh, so here's a little trick for putting a hose on. I'm going to get some isopropyl alcohol and put it on the inside of this, and that'll help it slide on a little easier. Just so happen to have some. Oh, we'll do it right here. There we go. There we go. Oops, forgot something. Here we go. Actually, I'm going to do it this way first, is put this on here first. That slides on pretty easy. And then we're going to put this on like so. Make sure that we get this thing seated all the way down. <clears throat> and now we can tighten our clamps. Oh, this is the best way to do this. I'm going to do it with this first and then I'll do it by hand because I can feel the tightness a little better. I'm clock this up just a little bit. Okay. So, finish this off with a ratchet. Let's see, that's probably good. Crazy. 
double check tightness on these. Actually, you know what I will do is I will re-clock this because I don't want it in the way. I'm going to get it out of the way of my bolt. There. Fold this, this out of the way. Okay. There we go. Excellent. Good there. Now we can put our pin back. Let me move this. <sighs> so this one's kind of hard to see. If you're not in the thick of things. There we go. I'm gonna run this right up in here. Run this forward. Pin goes in. washer <clears throat> then we'll do the cart <sighs> here it is <clears throat> when it comes to cotter pins let's try to you always kind of want to have gravity help you. You don't want to, well, I guess you could do this and then spin the whole pin around like that. And there it is, we're back together. Bottom filter's done. Now we'll move over to um, our filter on the other side. That'll be our last hydraulic filter, then we can fill this thing up.